Welcome to the Best Celebrity Channel. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content from us. Hey guys, before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Welcome back to Celeb Fame Time. Here are 10 cute celebrities who were super cute as kids. Number 10, Nicole Kidman is 4 for 4. Nicole Kidman is doing things very differently with her second marriage and younger children. While she and ex-husband Tom Cruise raised her adopted son and daughter in California, Nicole and her second husband, Keith Urban, are primarily bringing up their daughters in a tiny town called Leapers Fork, Tennessee. There, the Urban family mingles with locals, all 650 of them. Leapers Fork is too small even to be considered a town. While Nick and Keith don't exactly live in slum, their home is located on about 36 magnificent acres of land. They're working to raise their tots out of the prying public eye. Seeing that at the time, Cruz was in the process of divorcing from his first wife, Mimi. Number 9, Jeff Daniels Young Ones. I personally love actor Jeff Daniels for so many reasons. He's as down to earth as they come. He's still married to his college sweetheart and his fellow Michigander, U.S. Mitten folk. Love fellow Mittensers. The news actor returned to his hometown to live his life and raise his kids. Him and his wife, who's also a Michigander, has chosen to hunker down in the small town of Chelsea, Michigan. While his kids are currently dabbling in the world of acting, they aren't obnoxious about it. They might perfect their craft, but are also balanced in their small town upbringing. Basically, they're the Auntie Jaden and Willow Swift. <laughs> some, just some of the reactions you felt, the emotions that kind of ran through you. Sure. No, but you know what I also thought? I said, he can do it. He can do it. Number eight, Brendan Fraser's Bunch. This once highly sought actor fell head over heels for actress Afton Smith at a Drew Barrymore barbecue. The pair was married for 10 years, and in those years they produced three beautiful sons. While the union didn't last and their divorce was not exactly pleasant, the pair seems to agree on at least one thing, and that's raising their sons away from Hollywood. Fraser lives in upstate New York, where he spends most of his time working with his horses, and his ex-wife lives in Connecticut with their boys. Neither seems very keen on pushing their sons into a future acting career. Congratulations! You've just joined the club with Mel Gibson. He got choked out on Braveheart, too. <laughs> Thank you, I think. <laughs> Number seven, Sydney Simpson. Sydney Simpson, the grown daughter of the late Nicole Brown Simpson and O.J. Simpson, has lived under all sorts of microscopes, and still, the girl managed to get life right. Not only were her parents a couple of the most infamous names in entertainment and sports, but the family also made headlines when Nicole was discovered deceased and O.J. stood trial for it. Daughter Nicole attended Boston University and is now in her 30s. She works in real estate, owns several properties, and clearly this child to the famous had enough of living under the public eye during her childhood years. Number 6. Dave Chappelle's Kin Dave Chappelle is one funny guy and there was a time when Dave was everywhere you turned, making crowds cry with laughter. Next thing we knew, the famous and often outrageous actor and comic went utterly AWOL. Dave moved his family to a small town in Yellow Springs, Ohio in 2006, where he maintained a low profile along with his wife and children. Knowing how strongly Dave feels about living life in the public eye, we would be shocked if his kids chose to try and break into the acting world someday. We doubt Papa Dave would be cool with that. It's funny, because before I wasn't getting any movie offers, and now they, I get a lot of offers for, like, bad movies. Mm -hmm. Like those, those uh, Planet of the Apes type roles. Number five, Matt Damon's family. Actor Matt Damon went and married a normal human being, and the pair has given us renewed faith in celebrity parenting. This couple has four daughters, and they make it a point to raise them humbly. Damon has said that when companies send his family free stuff, they pass it right along, because they have everything they need. His wife is also adamant that their lives be separate from his dad's acting career. You might see her on a red carpet, side by side with her man, but otherwise, Luciana has no interest in the spotlight. Her girls will likely adopt that same mentality at this rate. Um. Number four, Adam Sandler's Sweeties. You never hear much about comedian and established actor Adam Sandler's two daughters and wife, and that's for a good reason. Sandler and his wife Jackie do their best to give their girls a normal upbringing away from prying eyes. Think about it. When's the last time you opened a People magazine and feasted your eyes on images of Sadie and Sunny? Probably never. Interestingly, Adam's girls have appeared in some films already, but because dad and mom don't overexpose their girls to the Hollywood limelight, they can express their creative side while maintaining a seemingly normal life. Oms, solidifying herself as the ultimate queen of cameos. Over the years, she's appeared in numerous Sandler movies, including 2000's Little Nicky, 2004's 51st. Number 3, Mila and Ashton's Pint-Sized Peanuts. The public went bananas when Mila and Ashton found their way back into the 
other's arms after spending years apart. Jackie and Kelso forever. Then the pair went and reproduced and we couldn't get enough of this adorable family. The images of little Wyatt and Dimitri are rare, as Mila and Ashton don't believe in exposing their kids on social media. They feel like being in the public eye was a conscious choice that both of them made, and until their kids can make the choice of public over private, they'll maintain their privacy. They also strive to raise their tots unspoiled and have said that when they pass, their kids get none of their amassed fortunes. Of people that actually have your best interests in mind. The truth is I post, I, the things that I post in, into public social media, I do so very intently. Well, it seems safe to say. Number two, Adele's little man. Adele is so fiercely private when it comes to her personal life. We don't even know when she was married until she publicly thanked her hubby at an awards show. When her son was born, Adele refused to release his name and stepped away from her mega career to solely focus on motherhood. When paparazzi snapped pics of her and her son back in 2013, her and her husband sued the magazine for a privacy breach. Adele's low profile makes us believe her son will grow up far away from the spotlight. Heck, he may not even know what mommy does for a living until he's grown. First question, how, when, and where, please? Uh, sorry. Um... I'm from London. Hello, I'm from- Number one, superwoman, super kiddos. One might think it would be a destiny to grow up and live rich and famous when you're the child of the actual superwoman. Actress Linda Carter and her handsome lawyer husband, Robert Altman, have two children together. Their daughter and son are both drop-dead gorgeous, and they have both accomplished lawyers. Clearly, these lucky kids got their mother's stunning looks and their father's brilliant mind. While Jessica and James could certainly light up a movie screen if they chose to, they have veered away from the Hollywood spotlight and lead seemingly normal lives practicing law. Might as well show some stuff. But this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.